Hey, hello everybody. Rob here. As I got home uh, from a work trip last night late, walked right by something sitting on my kitchen table, didn't even notice it. And in that package was uh, a paca. <laughs> my my, uh, my children and my wife saw the YouTube video of the gear shakedown, heard me saying that I was sick of my pack cover and my rain jacket and I wanted a pack up. My wife exchanged emails with Ed and uh, lo and behold, bought me a pack up for Father's Day. So let's take a look at this thing. I'm excited about it. All right, storage. Take care when storing your pack up for a long period. Optimum long-term storage is hung loosely in a dry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I going to read the directions? So as I understand, it comes in its own pouch. I'm very, very, very excited about this. Here it is opening up. Here's the raincoat portion of it. First impression, it's long. I like it. Nice little pull strings, right? Tighten it up or loosen it up around your wrist. That's kind of nice. Has a nice hard brim. Pit zips here to check this thing out on both sides. Initial opening, I love it. Uh, thanks to my two children, appreciate it. <laughs> I'm gonna start asking for more stuff on YouTube videos. It works. Okay, so here's my packer, and as I understand it, to use it as a cover. Trying this out here for the first time. I went and put some, uh, I just stuffed a bunch of stuff in my backpack. My understanding is, to use it as a pack cover, you just stuff your arms and the hood and all that stuff in there. Put it around your pack. Cover cinch it out. Here we go. So there it is as a pack cover. So this is what the pack looks like as a backpack cover. Now my understanding is when it begins to rain. Pull the hood out, or if you just pull the rest of the components all out here. Moving yourself right into a full on rain jacket that you can then zip up. The thing that I like about this is now everything on the inside of my phone and those types of things are all protected and covered. I don't know how well you can see it here, but there's even a little bit of a long flap. So quite lengthy and again I usually hike in 
my running tights. And so the water is just going to kind of run off. We do have one pocket here, this mesh pocket that becomes a storage bag, but get a little hot. Unzip the pit zips, let it breathe a little bit. Okay, some other things to show you about the pack. All of the seams are taped with seam sealer. So on the inside, every seam is taped up. Okay, let's talk a little bit about taking care of it and using its stuff sack. You turn the pocket inside out, proceed to ram, cram stuff away, fit it all up in there. Before you know it, you got the entire packer put back in there. Grab the handy dandy little zipper. Nice and flat. There it is. My packer. I took my packer. I took my scale because that's what we do. We weigh stuff. We've got to know what everything weighs. My packer came in at 12.7 ounces. So about 12 and a half ounces for my packer, which is my rain jacket. Goes all the way down to my knees as you saw. So more coverage than, than up to my waist. As well as it's my pack cover. It's all integrated, it's gonna keep stuff dry that wasn't dry. Most importantly, I can deploy it pretty quickly in the rain. Yes, there is more than one kind of packer. This is the 33D packer. Works out to some type of a one point something sil nylon. There is a 10D packer. There's an Event packer. There is a Cuban fiber packer. You can get the packer of your choice. Doesn't make a difference what kind of packer you get. I'm just excited I've got my pack. I can't thank um, my girls enough for getting this for me for Father's Day. Uh, very happy. Thanks, guys. I love you guys. Um, thank you so much for getting this. The good news is, uh, in about a week, I've got another trip planned. I'm going to get out for about two and a half days, a couple of nights, and uh, hopefully bring my camera along and do some filming. This is my pack. Thanks so much.